Hey, we're gonna look at two interesting viewer suggestions involving recursively defined sequences. These two questions are totally independent of each other. One comes from a viewer in South Korea and the other from a viewer in Belarus. So let's do the South Korean problem first. So we wanna set A1 equal to 1989 to the 1989 and then a sub n plus one equal to s of a sub n for n bigger than or equal to one. Then I wanna point out that by s sub n, I mean the sum of the digits of n. And then our goal is to find a sub 2021. So in other words, we're continually finding the sum of the digits of this starting number 2021 times. Okay, so let's jump into the solution to this and see what we get. So I wanna make the following observation first, and that is if n has k total digits, then s of n is less than or equal to nine times k. And so the equality comes when all of those digits are nines. So you have nine, 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 so on and so forth. But next up, I wanna point out that nine times K is strictly less than 10 times K. And you're gonna see that we're going to use very, very loose inequalities here. And that's because this sum of digits function really like converges very quickly if you repeat applications. But we're repeating applications 2021 times, so we don't really have to be that careful with it. Okay, so next up I wanna notice that we can bound this number 1989 to the 1989 above by something that like very clearly we know the number of digits of. And exactly what I'm gonna do is take 1989 to the 1989 and then bound it above by 10,000 to the 1989. But then through some fairly straightforward arithmetic, we can see that this number is equal to 10 to the power of 9945. That's because 1989 times five is equal to 9945. We've got five zeros there. But now we can start applying our sum of digits formula. So like I said before, this is equal to a sub one, but that means that a sub two, which is the sum of the digits of a sub one, is gonna be less than this exponent plus one times 10. And that's by this inequality up here, given that 10 to the 9945 has 9946 total digits. Okay, so that means this is gonna be less than 99460, 99,460. Next, we can use the fact that this sum of digits function is weakly decreasing to get a bound for a sub three. So we have a sub three is equal to s of a sub two, but that's gonna be less than s evaluated at 99460. But let's see what that is. We've got nine plus nine is 18. Then we have 22 plus six is 28. So this is equal to 28. Great. Then it's not too hard to check. Then we're gonna look at another kind of pretty obvious observation. And that is every number that's less than 100, well, and 28 is most definitely less than 100, is within two steps of being a single digit with repeated applications of S. So in other words, we can apply S to any number between one and 100 two times and it'll be a single digit number. So what that tells us is that A sub five is a single digit number but once we know that a sub five is a single digit number, well, it's going to be fixed from then on out. So in other words, a sub 2021 is gonna be a single digit number. So we have two things that a sub 2021 will satisfy. So first of all, a sub 2021 will be a single digit number between one and nine. So we know it can't be equal to zero because we're taking the sum of digits of a non-zero number, so we'll never get zero out of that. So these repeated applications will give us a single digit number between one and nine. 
And then the other thing that it must satisfy is A sub 2021 must be congruent to 1989 to the 1989 modulo nine. And that's from a fairly standard fact from number theory that says that the sum of the digits of a number is congruent to the original number modulo nine. But then next, you can see that 9, in fact, divides 1989. And you can see that because 1 plus 9 plus 8 plus 9 is divisible by 9. So you can use that trick kind of in the other trick, telling us that this a sub 2021 is congruent to 0 mod 9. But now putting this fact together with this fact, that is a sub 2021 is between one and nine and it's congruent to zero mod nine, we see that a sub 2021 must be equal to nine. Okay, let's get rid of this one and we'll look at the second problem. We just got done solving our first problem and it was from South Korea. We found the 2021st term in a certain recursively defined sequence was equal to nine. Now we're ready to look at another problem from Belarus. And this one says that we have a sub one equals a sub two equals one, and then a sub n plus two equals a sub n plus one plus one over a sub n. And then our goal is to show that a sub 180 is bigger than 19. There's actually a little bit of a trick to this at the end, which we'll see when we get there. So the first thing that we wanna do is somehow build some recursion that doesn't involve this like reciprocal of one of the terms of the sequence. That's actually kind of hard to deal with. And we can do that by first noticing that this is an increasing sequence. In other words, we have a sub n plus one is bigger than a sub n, and that's gonna be true for all values of n. So that's pretty clear from the definition here. And then that tells us that a sub n plus one over a sub n is strictly bigger than one. So maybe this isn't true for all of the values, but it's true for all of the values once you leave these first two values. Okay, so next up we'll take this a sub n plus two term and we'll square it. That's actually gonna help us more than it might seem. We can foil out this left-hand side giving us a sub n plus one quantity squared plus two times a sub n plus one over a sub n. That's our cross term for multiplying this out. And then finally plus one over a sub n squared. Okay. So next up, we'll use this inequality right here to say that this bit here is bigger than two. And then we'll use the fact that all of our a n's are positive to say that this bit here is bigger than zero. But now we can make those replacements saying that this whole thing is bigger than a sub n plus one squared plus two. So now let's build this up from the bottom to see what we get. So this tells us that a sub three squared is bigger than a sub two squared plus two. And then a sub four squared is gonna be bigger than a sub three squared plus two. But now we can make this replacement for our a sub three squared in here. And that is gonna tell us that this is bigger than a sub two squared plus four. And now let's maybe do one more. We've got a sub five squared, that'll be bigger than a sub four squared plus two. But again, doing this little replacement here, we see that that means that a sub five squared will be bigger than a sub two squared plus six. Now we can kind of see a pattern emerging. Notice that this hints that a sub n squared will be bigger than a sub two squared, but we know that that's just one plus, well, this is gonna be two times n minus two, like that. But now we can expand this right-hand side, giving us two n minus three. But then plugging in 180 for n, this tells us that a sub 180 squared is bigger than 357. So that's what we get again for plugging in n equals 180. 
Now, this is definitely some sort of lower bound for a sub 180 after taking the square root, but it is not super helpful, and that's because 19 squared equals 361. So it doesn't bound it quite as high as we need it to. Okay, so what went wrong here? Well, if you look into it, we started making approximations at the very beginning using only the given value of our sequence here, a sub 2. But what if we calculated on our own a couple of values of the sequence and did not do these first rounds of approximations and started maybe somewhere down the line? Well, that's exactly what we'll need to do. And you might have to play around with it a little bit, but it turns out that starting your approximations right here is the thing to do. So that means you'll want to calculate a sub 4 squared on its own using this recursion. So let's maybe go ahead and do that real quick. So notice that a sub 3 is going to be equal to a sub 2 plus 1 over a sub 1. Well, that's going to be 1 plus 1 over 1, which is 2. And then a sub 4 is going to be equal to a sub 3 plus 1 over a sub 2. But that's going to be 2 plus 1 over 1, so that's going to be equal to 3. So that tells us that a sub 4 squared is equal to 9. And now we can jump into our recursive inequality built off of these squares. So we have a sub 5 squared is strictly bigger than a sub 4 squared plus 2, but that's going to be 9 plus 2, so we can write that as just 9 plus 2. Great. And then jumping on that, we see that a sub 6 squared is bigger than a sub 5 squared plus 2. Taking the previous step and plugging it in here, to further the inequality, we see that this is bigger than 9 plus 4. But now we can keep going and we'll see that a pattern will emerge that we could prove by induction carefully if we wanted to, although we'll skip that here. And we'll see that a sub n squared is bigger than 9 plus 2 times n minus 4. But expanding the right hand side of that, we see that that is 2 times n plus 1, like that. Okay, but now we're actually set up to just finish this thing off. Plugging in n equals 180 gives us a sub 180 squared is strictly bigger than 361. But then like we pointed out before, 361 is 19 squared. So taking the square root of both sides, we see that 180 is strictly bigger than 19. And that finishes off this second problem.